Hello everybody, this is Jason Ballet with Work to Invest. So I want to create this video. It talks about credit cards. So it deals with the top three credit cards that I like to use, that why I like to use them, and a little bit more information like a guide to, to help you out. Some choices for some credit cards. Okay, before we begin, I just want to throw out a little disclaimer that this is my opinion, this is what I do, and this is just a suggestion. This is not what you need to do to help out with your credit score or what credit cards you need to take, but this is what I do, and just this is my opinion, this is my suggestion, and it's up to you how you want to pursue it. Um, but I just want to throw out a few pointers. For credit cards, it's good to have three lines of credit to help out your credit score. Banks like to see three lines of credit. A lot of people don't realize once when you have a vehicle and once when that vehicle is paid off that that line of credit goes away. And you could be making monthly payments on that vehicle every month on time. But once when you're, let's say you had a five year note. Once when that five year note is is done, it's closed out, that credit history for that account stops because you no longer have to make any payments on that vehicle because it's paid off. So it's good to have three lines of credit to help you out with your credit card payments. And also an another thing that's good with me that I like to do with three credit cards, it helps spread up my expenses and it also helps me track my expenses and I also can pinpoint what each expense it is. Uh, imagine if you had one credit card and all your expenses was just on one credit card. Uh, you're putting all the risk on one credit card and also you're putting all your expenses on one credit card and it's sometimes, depending on your, your expenses, it's hard to track all your expenses on one credit card. And then my way kind of like helps me out to where I can I know what each expense is right away. Like, when, for example, the AAA credit card for gasoline. I only use that credit card for at the gas stations, at the gas pumps. And I know exactly what's on there. <clears throat> Don't use your credit cards just for the points. You know, have a purpose and a reason behind the purchase. Just don't buy something just to buy it and... and just to have the points like oh i'm just going to use these credit cards so i can rack up a bunch of points if that's the case you might as well just use the money to do whatever you need to do um use the credit cards with a purpose and say well i have to buy this anyway i might as well use my credit card to make this purchase and so on um another thing i get from a lot of people it, it's kind of kind of interesting how many people think this but a lot of people believe that if they have a credit card, they automatically pay interest. And so many people out there don't know that if you pay off your credit card every month, that you would not have any interest. So none of my credit cards have any interest charges on them because I pay them off every month. And when I talk to people, if they have a credit card or if they use credit cards and I usually i always get a response as no i don't believe in credit cards because i don't want to pay any interest and then also if you look at their credit score and credit history they are they're the ones that usually have a low credit score because they have no lines of credit there's no credit payment history there's no way to track that these people you know have good payment histories because there's no credit card they probably or paying everything by check, cash, and and um, other means of payment, maybe a debit card. So, <clears throat> with that being said, if you pay off your credit card every month, you're not going to have any interest payments. So just keep that in mind, and you will be surprised how many people don't want a credit card because of that. They, I don't want to pay interest. All right, the first one I like to use, this one's my main one, is my Amazon Prime credit card. And with that, it, it is linked to my Prime membership account. And there is a yearly fee with this Prime membership account. But also, keep in mind that Amazon Prime memberships have so much more than just a rebate. 
a higher percentage of the rebate, which is 5% if you are an Amazon Prime member. Okay, Amazon Prime. So just just because the Amazon Prime has the 5% rebate on all Amazon purchases, it also has other uses too that we, we like to use. We like to use the Prime Video, Prime Music. <clears throat> Uh, if you're a Whole Foods shopper, you can start using your Prime membership for Whole Foods. Prime delivery, uh, same day or two day shipment. So Amazon Prime membership has more benefits than just that 5% rebate. And also with my business, Amazon Prime membership helps me out with my business with those shipping fees. So it's kind of kind of a win-win and also you know if you're an Amazon Prime member you have access to certain deals that are like early bird deals that no one else has access to but the main things I like to use it for as well besides my business uh, Amazon Prime Video, Prime Music I like to store my, my music on there and then also uh, you can use Alexa as well to play your music so that's pretty cool but Amazon Prime my credit card is used for pretty much majority of all purchases uh, that I, I use sometimes at the grocery store at uh, my, some some of my monthly recurring bills uh, gas bill insurance bill cell phone bill and some other purchases as well so next credit card I want to talk to you about is my I like to use a separate credit card for um, to buy gasoline my credit card that I use is the AAA credit card and I'm gonna cl click on this link right here so you could take a peek at it so you get two percent back on gas so and I'm also a AAA member as well and you don't have to be a AAA member to have this credit card. Uh, I think you can get this credit card through Bank of America. That's where my credit card is with AAA. And it's also 2% cash back on gas. And at grocery stores and drug stores. So just keep that in mind. Other thing I would like to add about the AAA credit card is that this worked out just kind of perfect in a way. Um, I had a credit on my AAA credit card, and I started using this credit to to get down the balance to a zero balance to where they didn't owe me any money and I didn't owe them any money. So I started using this credit card at the gas pump, and there was a lot of fraud going on at the gas pumps where they were using these credit card readers on the gas pumps, and it will take your information, it will scan it, and it will use this information for anything I mean m in my situation they bought two cell phones at an AT&T store so right away when I saw my bill I had two purchases one was probably like a cell phone for like 600 bucks and another purchase for something else for around $400 at AT&T for maybe they bought a, a plan or something but right away I saw this charge on my credit card and the only thing that I ever used this credit card was uh, for for gasoline. Called them up and said, hey, I did not make these charges. And they asked me if I was sure that I did not make these charges, that I, you know, that I might have made these charges by accident and just don't remember. And thinking that I didn't, I was like, no. I said, trust me, I did not make these credit card purchases. I would, trust me, I would definitely know that I purchased something at at and I said, I don't even have them as a, a carrier or anything. I don't have a phone from AT&T, so I know I did not use my credit card at this. So they said, not a problem. We'll take this off your credit card, and we'll fix this and take it off your account. Case closed. So perfect timing on that situation, especially with all the credit card scammers out there with the on the fuel pumps and them, the police, the, all the other police agencies cracking down and on that fraud that was going around so which was perfect timing because I used to use my Amazon card for, for gas purchases and then I just happened to stop like a month before <laughs> to, 
to 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 get that balance down so and i'm gonna have these links in the description as well to help you out so you know so you can find what i'm looking at all right next thing i want to talk to you about is uh you gotta i highly recommend you having at least one american express credit card at least one um i there's a a couple of them that doesn't have any annual fee whatsoever and it would not charge you any type of interest if you paid off at the end of the month when you get your credit card bill it will be paid off and you don't have to worry about any interest charges so check out americanexpress.com uh, there won't be a link just type that into your browser and you're gonna find it so I like to use them for online purchases and any purchases that I just need some extra protection. Um, with American Express, it's no questions asked. So, and I think the American Express card I have is the blue, the clear card, and then it's the American Express blue. And I have the American Express Hilton card as well. So, uh, I like the Hilton hotels, and that's one of the things I'm going to talk about later in this video is um, try to see the places that you like and enjoy see if they have some type of credit card account you could use and, and but we'll talk about that later let me finish up the American Express so with them let's say just want to buy tickets to a certain event but I'm not too sure about these tickets or I'm just not sure about it or if I want to purchase a certain online course or program and I'm just not too sure about it but I just want that extra protection um, perfect example my friend went to go buy a dress for his uh, girlfriend and he found out later on that the dress had a defect and something was wrong with the dress went to go bring it back to the store the store didn't want to take it and he's like Either you take it or I'm going to call up American Express and cancel my purchase with you and I'm going to keep the dress and you're going to be lost out on this because you have a defect. And then American Express has a, I guess you could say like a no hassle policy. If you have something wrong with your purchase that they will protect you. So, and the person at the store said, okay, we'll take the dress back, even though we're not supposed to, but this this go around we'll take the, the dress back just to make you happy and because they know that american express once you can cancel your purchase uh cancel that charge for as long as you have a little bit of a good reason of that there was some wrongdoing and they will take care of you so next thing a little treat for you if you happen to wait throughout this period of uh filming with this video recording i want to talk to you about department stores i shop at home depot i have real estate i have rental property so i have a home depot card so with the home depot card they give you six months interest-free payments for like let's say you need a refrigerator or a stove or you need to have a large purchase and carpet flooring anything like that it they will give you six months free interest free and you just make a few payments per month a little tip for you if it's six hundred dollars that you charged on your home depot card take that divide it by six so you know it's a hundred dollars make that monthly payment of a hundred bucks maybe 125 to up it up a little bit up it a little bit so once when it comes time for your credit card to be due before they start charging you interest you already have a small balance and you are already paid down that credit card don't be that person that doesn't make any kind of monthly payment and doesn't pay that monthly bill to get that purchase down of uh, if it was 600 bucks say oh i gotta make this payment and then next thing you know you still owe 500 400 dollars on this on this bill try to break it up in six payments and get that credit card bill down so but with me having rental properties and real estate, it just makes sense to have a Home Depot card as well. And, you know, for you, my advice is, you know, look for a credit card that you are, you know, business that you're involved with a lot, that you enjoy. 
Um, my wife has a Dillard's card, so she likes shopping at Dillard's, and she only uses that for stuff she needs. She just doesn't go shopping. Go, oh, charge it, charge it on my card. You know, I can have it. And the next thing you know, that bill comes in. You still got to pay for that bill. So, um, you know, take a look out there. You know, if you're an NFL fan or a Disney fan, I know so many people that are Disney fans and they have D- Disney credit cards and. I don't know what kind of points or what kind of uh, perks they have for for the Disney credit card. You can look up that. But, you know, if you're an NFL fan, your sports team, there's probably a credit card out there with your sports team on it or a college team. Uh, For example, with with us, we love to go cruises on cruises and there's credit cards out there. I think all the major credit cards car companies is linked up to a cruise line whether it's royal caribbean carnival norwegian each one of them has their own credit card company that links to them so take a look at it you know see if there's any kind of uh perks that they have that's beneficial for you so i forgot what royal caribbean exact perks are but um you get so many points for every purchase and with those points, you can use those points towards um, onboard credits or a free cruise. And the um, problem is, you, you better have a lot of points for those uh, free cruises. You know, it's not truly free if you think about it, because you got to rack up a lot of points for that cruise for it to be free. But there's other things you could use those points for, and it's onboard credits, uh, different dining options, and but. You can always go to Royal Caribbean uh, website and look at their credit card options and see what kind of perks they have. But think about it: like if you always shopping at a certain business, like let's say maybe it's Target, that it, like, take a look at, it, say, hey, okay, they offer a credit card. Okay, what do they charge an annual fee? You know, uh, don't worry about the interest as long as you're paying it off. You're going to be okay, and as long as you're not late on any of your payments, you're not going to have any fees. So, but take take a deep dive into what kind of perks they have. Um, what other credit cards they have? I think Dick's Sporting Goods has a credit card. Walmart has a credit card. So, uh, all kinds of baseball teams. I don't know about hockey. I don't know if hockey has any credit cards that are linked up to them. I don't know. But if you're a hockey fan and you have a credit card, put that in down um, in the comments. Same thing like if you have a credit card that you love and that you think the world of, put that in the comments below. Um, you know, do you like cruises? Put that in there. I'm interested in knowing what kind of cruises you like. And and I'm a big fan of Royal Caribbean. Norwegian is my second favorite. So uh, if you have a cruise line as well. You know, what cruise line is that? Because it's something I want to put together in the future. Um, Like a course or an expo, some kind of show on a a cruise line. You know, work to invest affiliated uh, show. So that, that would be useful to know. And then real estate. Are you into real estate? Do you have a Home Depot card, a Lowe's card, or anything else like that? So put that in the comments below. Maybe that will help out someone else, you know, reading the comments. And if you have a recommendation of what are your top three credit cards that you like to use, put that in uh, the recommendation as well. And also don't forget, check out my resource page. Let me click on that link so you can take a look at it. Tons of information, tons of resources for you to, to go through to help you help you out with your business, your income, your debt, your life. So plenty of information. So books, courses, uh, take a peek at that. Like I said, if you do a lot of traveling, you might want to look into this AAA credit card. Um, see what kind of perks they have that is related to you and also if you're a fan of Amazon definitely take a look at this and if you're not a prime membership you could still get a credit card from Amazon and you I think you get a 2% rebate on all your purchases without the prime membership so all right hopefully you enjoyed this video 
Hopefully it had some uses, some ideas. But like I said, this is my opinion. This is what I do. This is not what you have to do. This is just my suggestions. And I highly recommend you have three lines of credit. The same thing with banks when they look at your credit score and so on. Uh, for me to get the rental properties, they they look at these lines of credit. You know, what are these open lines of credit? What is your credit score? Um, if you happen to only have one line of credit, depending on what bank you go with, they probably going to say, sir, madam, this is one of the things you need to work on. So it just depends on what bank it is, but you know, and also just keep in mind, don't use your credit card just to use it, have a purpose behind it, have a meeting behind it, you purchase. So pay off your credit cards every month and you don't have to worry about interest so all right have a good sunday enjoy i am going to cut the grass and do some yard labor so take care